No way. So the picture came out gorgeous. That was the start of the craziness. Did Hayden recognize me? Because, like, you know, <laughs> oh, just wait. So it's not over, <laughs> guys. It's not. It's, it's not. I'm so excited right now. This is Tony, Star Wars Sith 66. And as you can see, he's a lifelong Star Wars fan. He talks? Wow. He's a big fan of Darth Maul. Darth Maul is my favorite character in all He world. loves going to conventions. The Tampa Bay Convention Center. And he really likes Shin Hati. Maybe a little oh too God, much. so beautiful. Tony's channel is the place to be for convention Info, tips so. and news, reactions and podcasts, or to just tag along as he goes across the country collecting celebrity photo ops and autographs. Just look at those plaques. People say, never meet your heroes. And Tony's had the chance to meet many of his. So let's find out if that saying holds true on a certain point of view. Today we're joined by someone that we are very excited, very honored to have a good friend of ours, Tony, AKA Star Wars Sith. 66 here to talk about meeting your Star Wars heroes. And really, this is us meeting one of our Star Wars heroes, although we know him quite well already. Tony, thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys for having me. It's an honor to be on here with the boys again. And yeah, man, I've I've met quite a few, uh, quite a few people in the past couple of years. It's kind of crazy. Seth and I have met a couple, but I mean, small amount in comparison to, you know, to the big guy here. Um, <laughs> but uh, tell us a little bit about you, your channel, and kind of what your channel is all about. Yes. Yeah, so I started my channel about a little over two years ago, and I started it to cover Star Wars Celebration, which is such a fun convention that not every Star Wars fan knows about or has been to. So that's what got me into YouTube. And then just my love of Star Wars has kept me here because there's not conventions, you know, every day year round. So when I'm not doing conventions, I'm doing reaction videos, breakdown videos, playing Star Wars video games, unboxing toys, toy hunts. So a little bit of everything focused on Star Wars, but it really all started with celebration and going to these conventions. When I think about you and your channel, that's what really sticks out to me is like, you're the convention guy. You know, like I always yep. think about your, your page, your coverage of celebration. I think about your coverage of like, when you go to local comic cons or um, ICCC, Yep. All that stuff is so much fun. And I think you have such a great spirit going about it. Um, like you, you have such a heart of a fan, I think. And it's so easy to live vicariously through you and watching those videos. Yep. Um, and it's cool that you get to do like meet all these great people and get to have those experiences with those fans. And you kind of do it all too. I mean, you mentioned all those other things you do. I mean, man, few people in the Star Wars space, space grind more than you do, I think. <laughs> yeah well i mean a, a lot of it is kind of like cheating because i do it anyway like i play video games anyway i'm just recording it <laughs> i go to the store and buy these toys and i open them anyway so like 80 percent of my life i'm just recording it now because that's what i've always done i've been doing that since at least 2015 is when i went to my first con and then got into collecting and stuff so now i'm just pressing record and like hey look look what i do every day guys cheat code Right there. there. Yeah. There you, you know, that's uh, that was a piece of advice I heard very early on when we started is shoot what you're doing. You know, if you're already yep. playing video games, do that. If if you're already unboxing toys, do that, you know, and I think that that's really cool. Uh, but yeah. also you have such a natural charisma when you're on screen. Thank like you. you're just, you're just a guy people want to hang out with, you know, mm -hmm. and we're very fortunate that we do kind of get to hang out with you from time to time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I think that is, speaking on, I think behalf of a lot of your audience, because I'm a member of your audience too. I think that every time I watch your video, it's like, yeah, you're just kind of chilling with Tony when, yeah. You're, yeah. when you're watching your videos. I think mm -hmm. that's super cool. So yeah, that that's just kind of how I am. Just just laid back and just this this is just me every day. Like how I am on camera, that's exactly how I am. It's just me, just me that, being me. It's a good quality to have, Tony. Just that that's you. you. You're not putting on a face or anything like that. Yeah, but yeah. This is just you. So. Meeting your Star Wars heroes. Uh, what do you think, Tony? Should you meet your heroes? I mean, yeah, because you never know. Because, like, I just started meeting people literally in 2022. So it's only been two years. I started conventions in 2015. So the first seven years, I never did photos. I never did autos. 
But then slowly we started to lose the grades. And then I realized like, man, like life's short. And like the my biggest regrets was Stan Lee because he would go to Megacon every year in Orlando. And I took that for granted. And then Carrie Fisher was the second one. After mm. that, it's kind of like, man, like I'm never going to get a chance to meet Princess Leia. So it really puts a perspective on it. So that's kind of why I try to meet the people who mean the most and made a, a big impact in my life, you know, if while they're still around. I think you're the one who actually changed my perspective on this because prior to becoming friends with you and like and, and mm -hmm. with Seth, I also I had never really done that either. I'd been to conventions, but I had never yeah. met anybody. And I guess I'll tell the first story because it's related to that. It's a sad story. <laughs> and it was in mm -hmm. 2016. Um, I was at Chicago Comic Con, which actually just happened again this uh, past past couple of weeks, and I was there with my wife, and we were walking just through the celebrity row. And this was before; I mean, conventions were popular, but they're a lot more crazy now. I think it maybe yeah. after the pandemic. Oh. I'm not sure. It was like 2020 did it. it, it they, yep. Now they're a lot more crazy. But we walked by, and I don't know if you could see on my screen. I'll pull this picture up, but if you can see it, Tony. Is that Carrie? Yes, Carrie Fisher. <gasps> and walked right by her. And I was within 10 feet. And I was like, oh wow, that's that's Princess Leia. And my wife was like, you yeah. should go, you should go meet her. And I was like, no, that's so silly. I don't want to do that. And her line really wasn't that long. Like I thought it was long at the time, but by comparison, it was not that long. The conventions I've been to We've now. We've been in some, yeah. Yeah. Some long lines. So I was like, yeah, this is. I just, I don't know. I don't really want to do it. And then, so I didn't, I didn't end up meeting her and we just went about the convention. We passed by her booth a couple more times. We we went and watched her panel, uh, mm -hmm. that, and again, it's crazy comparing it to now because it was super easy. You didn't have to get a ticket or anything. You just walked right in. We sat kind of close to the front and she had a lot of funny stories. I remember this was after, so 2016, this was after force awakens. It was before, yeah. World War. but this was also 2016. And this was tragically about four months, five months before she passed. And Ooh. I had no idea, obviously, like, and I remember that was one of my first things I thought of uh, selfishly uh, that I thought of when I heard the news on, I, I remember clearly it was like the 26th of December, if I remember correctly, of that year, uh, my mom called me and I was like, I had the chance to meet her this year and I didn't do it. And that made me so sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I completely get your perspective, Tony. It's like, yeah, you, if that's what you want to do, if you want to like meeting these people, it gives you such a perspective and, and it's such an experience. Absolutely. Go, don't be, don't be a dummy. Like I was go do it, you know, and get that experience. Yeah. Yeah. So my first photo op ever was 2022 Anaheim celebration. So Seven years, never did it, like we, like I kind of just said. And 2022, I was going to Anaheim, and they announced Ewan McGregor. And I was like, whoa, he's never done a convention. He doesn't do cons. Hmm. This is his first con. So, you know, he's a busy star. He's doing other movies. Maybe he won't do any more conventions after this. So he sold out almost instantly. But I got a photo op, and I was super pumped. So I remember going... And like my time slot was like right after a panel finished. So I remember the panel was done and I ran over there to the photo op. And like when I got there, like I was just on time and the line was going in. So it like this never happens. But as soon as I got there, I went right into him. It was like Ooh. a 10 second wait. I'm like, oh, my God, like <laughs> I went behind the curtain and I just see him there. And I'm like, bro, that's Obi-Wan Kenobi. And then you just <laughs> you just like this is the picture right here. And you just walk up and he's just like, how you doing, mate? With his accent. And he shook his shook my hand, put his arm around me, took the photo. He was just so sweet and nice in that like 10 sec that 10 seconds felt like a 20 minutes. It was just like you were like living in that moment. And like that was right when the, the Kenobi show was dropping too. So like that night oh, we watched okay. the premiere. So it made it a little bit more special than I was just with Kenobi. We're watching the first two episodes tonight. It was it was just unreal that that situation it felt wow. so good. That's awesome. Like it's that cool. was yeah. so close to that. I, I didn't make that connection that that would have been right there at the time that that released. Yeah. So that's Same awesome. Day. So that did that start the addiction? It 
did and at that uh, at that celebration i got four photo ops because it was four days so i was like i'll just get one a day so i did <laughs> hewan the first day i did sam Whitwer the next day i did jean carlo the next day and then the last day i did a dual boba fett photo op with daniel logan and tamora morrison Ooh. so okay it was just so cool to see all of them because i love all of them for many things from star wars Giancarlo, it was for Breaking Bad. I just wanted to meet Gustavo Fring so bad. So, oh, dude, me too. That, yeah, uh, he he's was awesome. He was at a local convention, uh, not last year, but the year before. And I wanted to go so bad, but I had, I was out of town. Uh, a friend of mine went and got a photo op with him. And uh, uh, I was so bummed that I missed it. Cause the same thing, yeah. I'm a huge Breaking Bad fan. And that's what I wanted to go yes. see. Um, yes. Okay, well, Seth, what's your what's your first story? What's your Star Wars here that you've um, had? Tony, how well do you remember the the celebrations, like the years? Oh, so from twenty seventeen, well, twenty fifteen and up, I'm familiar with. Okay, it was twenty fifteen was celebration. Was that like celebration in Anaheim? That was Anaheim. Well, okay, in Orla California, Orlando, Orlando. Before that, I think it was like twenty twelve. Okay, that would have been this then twenty twelve. Yeah. Okay, twenty twelve Orlando. So I've got this. Ooh. So that's uh, me and uh, Sheev. <laughs> that, uh, so yes. what's what was cool about this was like I was like really dragging my feet about going, and then they announced him, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is like the first one he's ever going to be. Like he's never been at one before, and I'm like, I have to yeah. go. And everyone was like, are you going to dress up like Anakin? And I was like, I feel like I have to. And uh, yes. so I remember that day I dressed up and then I walked in and um, I was the third person in line. I was not, like right, right at the beginning. And um, I set my bags down because, you know, you're at a con, you're carrying your backpack and everything. I set my bags down. I turn around and look at him and he just goes, ah, it's my young apprentice. And I was just Ooh. like. <laughs> and you know snap this picture which i think is it's a pretty good picture i yeah, think it's a great yeah, picture yeah it, it's a it it's is. a good picture in fact we were shooting a movie at the time and i had a beard and i told them i was like i'm cutting my beard just so you know so the picture looks even better than, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah so i was they were just like no don't do that and i was like i don't care whatever so i, I actually put the uh the movie de like delayed a little while because of this photo, <laughs> but, uh, oh, but I, I told him that like, you know, I appreciated him and that I, uh, I thought it was awesome that he, he came and I hope he had a good time. And he's like, I hope you have a good time. And that was basically it. So, but it was fun. Cool. That is so awesome. Especially mm -hmm. that he said my young apprentice. Yeah, I would have just, that was, I would have melted. Oh I kind of did that. I was just like, and that was the first thing is I got out and my friends were just kind of like, how was it? And I was like, like, no joke, he called me his young apprentice. <laughs> and they were like, really? And I was like, well, look at me. And they, and they, were, they were like, oh, okay. Well, I mean, you do kind of look like him. That, yeah, so, yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> That's very awesome. And now, Tony, have you met Ian McDiarmid? No, he is on my list. I should have did it at ICCC because, like, at one point, we were in the autograph hall, and he was just standing at his table by himself. There was no line. My boy Jose was like, I can't leave Emperor by himself. And he went over and did an auto. But the next show that he's at, like, I got he's on the list. He's he's like, it's Palps. Like, you have to meet Palps. He's he's on mine too. Now that I've been bit by the bug a little bit, uh, I'd love to he he's in my probably top five, top three. Even, yeah. Uh, someone I would like to meet. He's he seems so genuine, mm -hmm. you know, when you yep. see him uh just in panels or in interviews and stuff. Piggybacking off of what Tony said, that it's like when I heard that laugh. At that following celebration, or I guess is when for Rise of Skywalker, that celebration. 2019, yeah, Chicago. when I heard that, like I got a little emotional because I <laughs> yeah. was like, dude, like because it, it connected me with that photo and that moment, and I was just like, yeah. I'm like, this is okay. He's coming back to Star Wars. The, yeah. yeah, that it's like, yeah. So that is like, granted, you're not always going to get that experience. If that makes yeah. sense, yeah, it may just be an yeah. in and out. That's it. But I mean, like, it's still you could have that that memory. Well, that's something like. Yeah. Because I consider myself sort of an outsider when it comes to this, because I've had a few interactions, but yeah. like you two are sort of, I, you've had a lot more. Tony has had a lot. You've had a, a few. Yeah. Um, and that was always my perspective, like from an outsider. And I, I wonder if some maybe people in the audience are thinking the same thing is like, are these photo ops worth it? Because I'm going in there for five seconds. Yeah. Yeah. I get the photo, but I mean, I'm not really connecting with the person, but like you just said, you got to have that moment with Ian. 
And then when you hear him later, you know, yeah. during that celebration panel, it gives you that emotional connection. T Tony, do you have the same experience? Oh, so the the next story that I'll get into the I, it was a photo. It was quick, but oh, the connection that I made with these two guys, oh, amazing. Well, let's so hear like it. Yeah, people, don't leave us hanging. Come on now. So so people ask that question all the time, like should I do a photo or an auto? And it's really your preference. Like I preferred photos first, just because like I have them all here on my wall. So it's like the memory is right there. Now I'm transitioning into autos, but my next one. It started in London. So at London Celebration, Hayden and Ewan did the dual photo op for the first time ever. And like this was like a big deal because they've never offered it. They've like first time they're at the same con together. So I did that photo there. The photo was fine because uh, Ewan was filming a movie, so he couldn't get close to people. So he they stood on one side. R2 was in the middle and I stood on the other. So like I, I wasn't all buddy buddy with them, but it was still amazing to walk up and see Anakin and Obi-Wan just there like smiling and looking at me. Mm -hmm. But fast forward to the next year, Orlando Megacon, they both be there and they offered the dual photo op again. So I was like, ooh. So I took my London one, put it on a t-shirt and I went there and I did the dual photo. So it came out like three best friends hanging out, <laughs> right? Did they so notice your shirt? No. So when I walked up, they were staring at my shirt. Both of them were like, oh, my God, that's so cool. They kept looking down at the shirt, looking at me, looking down on the shirt, looking at me like I felt like we were all best friends in that moment. <laughs> and, and that was priceless. Just seeing the reaction because they, they're like, oh, my God, that's so cool. Because they realized, like, hey, I did this with you guys in London. Now I'm here in Orlando with you guys. Like it, you know, it meant something to them. And like. It's just, I just, I love this picture. Like, we just look so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's super fun. It is cool. Yeah. That's so the, that's always what I think about when I, like, when I want to do a photo op, which I've only done like a couple, but yeah. how can I, how, what can I do to like make this experience memorable for them? Like, not mm -hmm. because I want to make it about me necessarily, but like they're doing this yeah. a million times throughout the day, you know, and something like that, you know, make some chuckle for a second. Like I the know uh, when we were at, uh, Indiana Comic Con this past year, I went to Hayden's and Rosario's panel that day, and they talked about they got a lot of bracelets throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And Hayden, like mm -hmm. they had a little competition who got the most bracelets from fans. Uh, Hayden and Rosario, and Hayden, of course, won. He had a quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, but I think that's that's fun. It's kind of a unique thing. And like we saw with Rosario, we'll talk about that interaction in a moment. But yeah. uh, the pe person in front of us, yeah. gave her some books. Yes. Uh, that maybe he wrote or maybe his wife wrote girlfriend i don't know something but yes maybe she remembered that you know yeah. and it like stuck yeah. sticks with yeah. it and like and uh that's what i think is another fun aspect of this is like mm -hmm. it helps remind you like you know these are just people too you know they're yeah like, yeah they, and i think that's fun and so mm -hmm. that's great um i see you got one teed up here seth I need help with more celebrations so this was a celebration and what was the first one that hayden did do you remember Tony? Oh, it was in Chicago. I, I think it was Chicago 2019. Okay, yep. So this is Chicago 2019 when <gasps> I met Ooh. the man. Yeah. And uh, that's better. Um he uh I guess like the only thing I sat I like this kind of stinks but I sat in line almost the whole day. Hmm. Like a good chunk of the yeah. day because something was going on like he was really really late for some reason and uh I one of my like I got lucky because like my my queue was pretty early, and so I didn't uh, I, I got to go in like with the first batch of people basically, and I just yeah. remember he like when I walked in he just like turns and looks at me he's like hey buddy <laughs> and I just was like hey <laughs> like I'm like does he think I'm a child I'm gonna rock with it <laughs> yeah and I'm like hey and uh, he put his arm around me and I uh, I just told him that I. Uh, I really, really appreciated him coming. And, uh, you know, it meant a lot to me that he was there because, I mean, it was his first one since episode three, basically. Yeah. So, yeah, or Revenge of the Sith, whatever you want to say. Mm -hmm. That, uh, so, um, so, yeah, and he just, uh, he told me, thank you for coming. And then that was it. Like, not, uh, not as cool as the Emperor, but uh, definitely cool yeah. just because, like, he was the one, I kind of drug my feet on it, but I was like, dude, he may never do another one again. 
Yeah. Granted, like, you know, back in 2019, we weren't thinking anything. Yeah. We were just like, maybe he's just going to do a one and done. And then that's it. Go back to his farm. I remember that celebration well, Mm because I watched, uh, was that the one where he did, uh, he was either introduced out on stage and he got choked up a little bit by the audience reception. Yes. Yes. Because people were, people kept bringing him jars of sand. Oh, okay. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) I just remember him being so emotional about, wow, you know, the, they like me now. Yeah. This is, and, and I think that really changed his mind about maybe yeah. coming back. Yeah. Uh, but I remember that giving me hope that we were going to get Anakin in episode nine. Yeah. Or uh, this was, which, which one, you say this was 2019? I guess maybe. I think yeah, this is that, probably the same one true. Rise of Skywalker. No, this was 2017. Yeah. Was this, tw- was this oh, 2017? it could be 2017. I don't know. Because that's, well, that was the I first one if, he ca- came back. Because he came back he the year of TLJ, Orlando. right? Oh, and we all thought maybe that maybe he was going to be in it. I remember he came back the year. Yes, of it would be because I got married. Uh, yeah. The, yes, I got married the year before. And then this, yes. Because that's yeah. what I, so I, this was 2017. Because everybody Orlando. was thinking that he might have yeah. a part. In, mm-hmm. Or was, was 2017, 2017 in Florida? Orlando. It was oh, wait, in Orlando. So I take that back. This was in Florida okay. when I was here. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. Because anyway, this was so. the year <laughs> where I can kind of piggyback, I guess, for a second that like I, uh, um, like my wife met Ryan Johnson. Like he came down and walked. This was before. This is before mm-hmm. we didn't know anything. This was even before the trailer. He came down and came down our line while we were waiting for the trailer. And he autographed. Uh, I left it at home. He uh, <laughs> he autographed a trading card for me that she. I was like, I can't get through, and I just shoved my trading card to my wife, and then she uh, uh, she got him to sign it, and he signed her badge. And then she came back through the masses. That's cool, so, though. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Not my favorite Star Wars cool. director, but still cool, though. Well, my, I mean, one of my favorite yeah. Breaking Bad directors. I was gonna say he's a good director. <laughs> yeah. I just think that, yeah. yeah, that like he, I like a third of his Star Wars movie. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Were you at that celebration, Tony? That was my first celebration. Okay. That's what started it all. Because I, I was living in Orlando, and I drove by the convention center, and I saw banners for Star Wars celebration. I'm like, what's that? And me and Ricky went for two days had the time of our lives and we haven't missed celebration since then were you in that last jedi panel no so i didn't know that it was my first celebration so we didn't know how it worked at all so we missed everything we missed the carrie fisher panel george lucas was there with harrison and mark we missed all that yeah because we didn't know how it worked gotcha okay i was just curious because i was like ooh, like like ships in the night we could have been next to each other we didn't i know know, right yeah you guys were still he might have passed each other oh we probably did at one point yeah i'm sure (laughs) probably yeah the the stars aligned yes yeah so I guess I will I'll share one of my stories. So this is of a character or a person that's in Star Wars. I was debating actually even telling the story, but I'll tell it. Might as well. Um, so this was pretty cool. So this was at a recent convention convention that uh, Seth and I were invited to. This was cool. Uh, at PopCon. <laughs> yeah. So we were invited to PopCon um, to do a panel, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But yeah. uh, Andy Serkis was there, nice. which is really cool. And I got this here. And I know this is Lord of the Rings, but he's in Star Wars. Two different characters. <laughs> he plays Snoke and Kino Loy. Yeah. And of yep. course, this is Andy Serkis. And uh, what's neat about this, and uh, the reason I wanted to share it, is because I took this photo. So I do miniature photography. And this is one of my favorite photos I've ever done because it's all practical. Like I built this set. This is all real water. Um, and I have a little behind the scenes video of this. And I was, I, I'm really proud of this photo. And Seth, with one of something he did, which I'm sure he'll talk about it in a moment, yeah. uh, getting uh, an autograph of a, a photo he took. I was like, man, that seems like such a fun idea. And Andy Circus is here. His line's not super duper long. Uh, why not? I'll go do it. And so I got in line with a friend of mine who was uh, doing some camera work for us while we were at PopCon. And the fun- funny thing is, this is just by coincidence, she had actually made some of the set pieces in this photo. And her name's Sam. And we uh, got up to, to Andy Circus and um, shook his hand and I uh, had him sign this. And he, of course, he had been signing all the like stuff that was already on his table. So he'd been signing the same photographs all day. Yeah. So I slide him this and he, he pauses for a moment and looks at it. And I was like, hey, I'm like, actually, I took that photo. And he's like, you, what do you mean you took this photo? And I was like, well, it's, it's a, I said, it's a miniature photo. I said, I, ha- I said, I have a behind the scenes video if, if you'd like to see it. And he's like, well, absolutely. I'd like to see it. So I, I showed him the video and he just 
was like enraptured by it for, and I was actually there with him for a little while longer than anybody else. He was just watching the video and he, he asked me so many questions about this. He was like, oh, so that that's real water there. And that's, oh, so that's all real. Interesting. And who makes that? And who, and I was like, well, she actually made all this. She was standing next to me and he's like, really? And who makes the, the golem? Uh, he Take called care. it a, a statue. He's like, who makes the golem statue? And I was like, oh, it's a company called Diamond Select. And he's like, wow. That is really, really cool. Like, I've never seen anything like that. And I was like, yeah, I said, I, I'm always been, uh, I, I've always loved doing that. And I, I just, I thought it'd be really cool to, to get that signed by you. He's like, well, thank you so much for sharing that with me. And I was like, well, thank you. And I told him right before I left, I was like, by the way, like, I just, if I ever had the opportunity to meet you, I wanted to tell you this. I said, I've, I've listened to the Lord of the Rings audiobooks that you've narrated. And I got so just engrossed in your performance that when it got to two towers and I started hearing Gollum, I was like, wow, this guy does an excellent Gollum impression. And, it, and he laughed. And I was like, it didn't even occur to me <laughs> that, like, because you were, I just got so, like I said, in, involved in it and, yeah. uh, and immersed. And he, he just chuckled at it. He was like, well, thank you. I really appreciate that. And as I started walking away, he pointed to my photo again. He's like, seriously, he's like, that is an awesome photo. And I was like, thank you so much. And then, uh, I went on my way, but that was just one of the cooler interactions I had. Cause he really spent a lot of time with me, like asking me questions about my photo. And I yeah. thought that was really neat. Cause I, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if he'd just look at it and be like, Oh, you know, whatever, sign it and move on. Yeah. But no, he was really interested in it. So I know it's technically Lord of the Rings, but Hey, he's in star Wars. So I haven't met that many people <laughs> twice. <laughs> so it counts. That's, that's so cool. He was like, of course I want to see that video. And that reminds me, um, at ICCC, I, I met Steve Bloom, who voices Zeb. He oh. voices a ton of people, but he voices Zeb. And I told and it was right after his cameo in Mando. And um, I told him, I'm like, man, when you popped up in that episode of Mando, it it like I was so shocked. Like my reaction was hilarious. Like I, and he was like, Oh, He's like, oh, you recorded your reaction? I'm like, yeah. Can I show it to you real quick? He was like, yeah. So I showed him my like a clip from my reaction video when, you know, Zeb walks in the bar and I'm watching the, the Mando episode and I'm like, Zeb, like all shocked. And he <laughs> loved it. He was like, man, post that tag me so I could share it. Like, that's so cool. Like, it was cool that he wanted to see it and he genuinely appreciated it. Because usually at cons, it's like, like sign and go, sign yeah. and go. Yeah, but they don't really. Yep. took the time. And he wanted to see it. And that was just so cool to show Gary Zibarelli is my reaction. That reminds me of, uh, I guess, because I completely forgot about this until you just said that. But uh, I also met at Indiana Comic Con, uh, Timothy Zahn. Ooh. So author of uh, Heir to the Empire the trilogy, creator of Thrawn. Yeah. Yep. Um, and that was a really cool interaction. Because um, another person that he was got to really talk to him for a while and I got Savage Press photo bombing there. <laughs> you could see that. <laughs> um, but uh yeah, I I had the reason why that reminded me is because at that time that was shortly after I think it's Jar Jar Jargon as the YouTube channel name had released that anime trailer of Heir to the Empire. Yep. And Joe. I had asked him if he had ever heard of that because I was like, yeah, uh, I, this had come out so good and he was like, unfortunately, I can't I can't look at any fan art of anything that I've written or anything Star Wars. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, it's just uh, because if I ever subconsciously even gets inspired, get inspired by their work, then there's a whole bunch of legal issues. And because I currently still work for Star Wars, there's just too much there. I was like, oh, interesting. So yeah. I basically just ended the conversation with him. I'm like, well, would you ever be interested if, you know, you could do anything with uh, Lucasfilm adapting Heir to the Empire into like a 2D uh, animation. He's like, oh yeah, that'd be awesome. So I was like, mm. so Zon's behind the idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, what do you got, Seth? At Indiana Comic Con, uh, I got to uh, uh, meet Rosario Dawson, mm. and so similar. I, uh, I, Connor's much better than me. Like I, I dabble in uh, action figure photography or whatever you want to call it. That's AJ Styles. Ignore him. Try to, there we go. There we go. That's better. And um, I just, so I guess there's some backstory to this picture that here. Cool. Okay. 
there we go. Now you've seen enough of it. All right. It's <laughs> I'll put it up on screen. It's, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's just so good, R2. Yeah, I don't want to hold it up like that. So the whole thing was like, because we hadn't started the show yet. And I posted this picture onto Instagram. And we'd been talking about the show. It was like, okay, we're, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. And then I kind of posted this picture. And then out of nowhere, she liked it on Instagram. Mm. And I was like, it's a sign. We have to do this yeah. show. We have to start with Ahsoka. We have to. Even though, and I'll admit, Ahsoka is not my favorite Star Wars character. I really like her version of Ahsoka. But like, I think the older Ahsoka gets, the more I like her. That I, yeah. I find her, which she's supposed to be obnoxious. That like I, I just didn't really like her uh, in the first couple of seasons of Clone Wars. I was like, I get it. You're spunky. You're Anakin's Padawan. <laughs> cool. And you, <laughs> you get into trouble. But then you show that you have some merit. But anyway, um, so uh, I was like, oh, I got to print out this picture. And then I have to have her sign it just because it's like a, uh, like, it's a sign. I got to tell her about it. That like, I yeah. mean, yeah. And so when the guy in front of us gave her a bunch of books and I was like, oh no, like, this is the worst. Like, I'm like, he just gave her like this gift and I hope that she just doesn't sign it and then pass it, go on. And she stops and looks at it and she goes, okay, now what is this? And I was like, well, I actually took this picture and it's an action figure and you liked it on Instagram probably about a year ago. And she's like, I remember. And I was like, I don't feel like you do, but that's okay. <laughs> In my head, I was just kind of like, that's nice. I doubt you, you like all kinds of stuff that like, uh, but <laughs> I don't know though. She said it with a lot of like, she was very genuine the way she yeah, said it. Yeah, but she just seems yeah. like that. Like she's always been like, a cool person even before she was like ahsoka because i've had yeah. other friends that met her for different things and stuff like that you're so. just being pessimistic of course she remembered okay why wouldn't she sure so she remembered it was awesome and it made me feel all warm inside that i was just like oh that's really nice and we talked a little bit about the show we talked a little bit about the photo um connor even got to talk to her for a minute about yeah. uh that's awesome yeah and i was uh, like hey season two we're so excited this is before they announced season two yeah i'm like we're excited and she's like yeah, I'm a uh, hope we do more or something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> she kind of gave a wink and a nudge. Yeah. And yeah. she told me that she was like, keep keep making more photos, keep making me look badass, keep tagging me in it. Yeah. I was just like, okay, I can can do. Well, you left out the funniest part of what she said. Uh, I don't, I don't, what, what? <laughs> when, she, when you handed her the photo, she was like, man, I look effing diesel in this. <laughs> 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 it was really funny. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'm dying to yeah. meet Rosario. I haven't yet. She's she, on my list too, because I loved her before Ahsoka. Like her in Daredevil and Clerks. She's dude, been doing so many cool things. I like. I have such a crush on that character in Clerks too. Like I think that she's just like yes, uh, yes, yes. Ever since like Clerks too, I've just been like, man, wow. And I know that's just a character, but I'm just like, this is yeah. just yeah. It just again, she's like that in real life. She's charming. She's real. Like it's, she was very kind. She was just very, very nice. I yeah, highly recommend she, you get the opportunity to meet her. Like I, her panel was later that day with Hayden mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. just getting to see her kind of interact with people in real time. Like that was, that was pretty cool. Like she, she does have that charm in real life. It was, that's, cause mm. I don't think everybody does, you know, like sometimes you meet people like some these celebrities and stuff. And I don't think they kind of match that. Uh, but Rosario definitely has that energy yeah. in, uh, in real life. So that was definitely, definitely a cool experience, even though I, I kind of just tagged along with Seth mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> with that just, just to be there. Um, and I said like two words to her on my, on our way out the door. But you said something about, didn't you say something about the show? Yeah. Well, and you about did. her performance. Oh yes. I, I told her that, uh, I really appreciated that her performance as Ahsoka feels like an extension of Ashley Eckstein's performance of yeah. Ahsoka. Um, mm -hmm. because that's always something I've commended her on our show for because not every actor who has continued an animated character's performance has done that yeah uh, and she really yeah. appreciated that so yeah. there you go but yeah awesome. okay we've we've rambled on for a little while i think it's time to continue hearing from the from the legend over here who's yeah. your who's next up on, on your list so this last one it's a it's a two-parter and it's the second part of this is the, my craziest interaction ever, Ooh. ever. And like, I, I, I don't know what a heart attack feels like, but I might've <laughs> had one, 
when this during this conversation but we'll start the first part friday was when we did the single photo op with this guy named luke this farm boy from tatooine oh yeah just a small small potatoes over there huh yeah so we got there first i'll show the picture this it, this was unreal the shirt that i'm wearing with you know luke as oh. soon as i walk up to mark he said oh my god i've never seen that shirt he was so excited by the shirt and the fact that like mark hamill like loved my shirt was just unreal like he was so excited like it, it was crazy and then he put his arm around me i put my arm around him we took the picture and he was like thanks for coming and i'm like thanks luke i it just i was just lost for words because like you know walking in and you see him it didn't feel real i thought i was gonna cry but like at the time it just didn't feel like it was really happening i didn't get teary-eyed till after i came out and i was walking with this picture and like looking at it and like that's luke it was it was just it was unreal it, it was epic and it was really cool because ricky my buddy from pot the bounty collector jose from general kenobi's bunker we were all in line together so then they all came out and i got to see all their raw reactions and like ricky looked like a little kid he was so excited when jose came out he had his uh original return of the jedi kenner figure that he had as a kid and it was his first figure and then he lost it for 11 years and then he found it again so he had that with him in the picture and it meant so much so like that moment for all of us it just was like unreal like so epic and like mark is he doesn't do a lot of these shows it's very yeah. rare to find him he did fan expo last year which i was surprised but before that his last convention was 2017 orlando celebration so he's been on octo for seven years <laughs> yeah finally came out so that was great and like you know you you, you take this picture and, and then you're like there's no way you could top this boy did this get topped the next day <laughs> so the next day we go and it's the dual photo op father son never been done they only did they limited it to 500 so we go for that and ricky was three people ahead of me his interaction was insane i was a little jealous at first i was like why is mark talking to him so much <laughs> so when ricky walked up his shirt had hayden right here anakin and luke mark hamill there so when mark saw a shirt he was like 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 the, the the photo was both of them sitting down you were supposed to go behind them but when ricky went up they started talking to him so he didn't he didn't get to go behind them because they wanted to see his shirt so he's standing in front they're looking at his shirt hayden's like wow i want one of those mark was like did you make that where did you get that from they were all shocked by his shirt so he's there for like a minute or two all the camera people are like sir sir you got to stand back here like trying to rush him but like you're not going to ignore mark and hayden talking to you in conversation so he finally takes his picture then the next two people in front of me then I walk up. So I walk up and then I get, I'm wearing just a George Lucas shirt, like nothing crazy, just the maker with the boys. So I go <laughs> behind them and I, I say, hey, Mark, how you doing? And then I say, hey, Hayden, how's it going? So Hayden looks back at me and he's like, hey, what's up, man? It puts his hand out. And like, it was as if you haven't seen a friend in a long time and you run into him somewhere random it felt like that it felt genuine but i was like there's no way hayden remembers me like there's no way so we took the photo i was like thank you guys great seeing you blah 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 blah. and my whole way walking out i was like did he remember me like it, it felt very genuine but like this guy does conventions all the time he sees thousands of people no way so the picture came out like look at gorgeous. that that's nice that's so cool man yeah. yeah it was it was crazy like hayden has the this is where the fun begins smile revenge of the sith <laughs> we, we got we got mark point, pointing at the maker on the shirt so this was insane and like it was crazy expensive but literally if it didn't sell so like if, if it didn't sell out i would have did it again which sounds ridiculous but like when we got out of there, that moment, the energy, it just, just all the midichlorians in that room, <laughs> it, it, 
it was like it, it's so hard to explain it's like if you go to a theme park and you ride a brand new ride and wow that was great i want to do it again and you run back in line again it it felt like that and usually after a photo op i'm like i'm good i got it let's go but no like i genuinely wanted to go back in there just to be in the presence of like mark and hayden sitting next to each other the energy it was unreal so that was the start of the craziness the start the, the, the start of like did hayden recognize me because like you know <laughs> oh just wait so it's not over guys it's not it's, <laughs> it's not so we we go to lunch we're sitting at the little food court there eating the overpriced con food that's terrible but like we got to eat we need energy to run around so my buddy Nevo, he gets a lot of comic books signed and graded. So he bought like too many Hayden autograph tickets and Hayden's autograph tickets. They sold out. So I brought a plaque with me because I was like, maybe I'll, I'll do an impulse buy and get Hayden's auto while I'm there. But when I saw they sold out, I was like, good, I'll save money. I can't get it. So he comes to me and he's like, hey, man, I bought too many Hayden autos. Do you want to buy one for less than what I paid? And I was like, cheaper than what you paid they're sold out i have a plaque we have vip so we can skip the line i was trying to find a reason to not do it but just the stars aligned it's too and good to be I, true that's a dangerous friend to have yeah <laughs> it, it is it, it is shout out to nevo so he gave me uh, so i bought it off him for like 30 dollars less than the autograph cost and then my autograph was at 5 p.m so like just like seth your experience waiting in line I got there like at 4.15, a little early, and super backed up. The people that were there for the 2 o'clock autographs were still in line. So it was a long wait. And, but I, I kind of had an idea because Hayden's lines usually are like that. And I know it's worth it once you get there. You have to just thug it out, survive. Luckily, where I was in line, there was a chair. So I got to sit the whole time for the three hours that I waited. It was about three hours, three and wow. a half hours which is crazy but like in the back of my mind i'm like did he recognize me like or was that just me like oh he's just being nice he does that to everybody okay so we it's finally my time to go it's about almost eight o'clock i go behind the curtain there's like you know a little line a couple of people in front of me and this is what i got signed so i'll show you this it's this revenge of the sith plaque and we got light side and then dark side hayden both on there Cool. So th nice. this is what he signed. So I gave the plaque to the guy there, gave my ticket. I even brought my own marker. I gave him the marker. So he slid it down. So when it's my turn to go to Hayden, he slides it to Hayden. Hayden looks at the plaque. He looks up at me, smiles. And I had to write, I had to write down what he said. Cause like, <laughs> I, I, it's, I love this. It, it, it's, it's, I, I could not believe that Hayden Christensen said this to me. He shook my hand. He said, hey, we've met a few times before. And I was like, yeah. Like, I, I just froze for a second because, like, did he just ask me if we've met a few times before? And I was like, yeah. Like, we met at Orlando, Megacon, London Celebration, Megacon again here this morning. And this is the fifth time. He was like, oh, so quite a few times. I was like, yeah. So, like, he, like, legit did remember me, which boggles my mind blew my mind he started to sign the plaque and as he was signing this was cool i felt like such a cool guy when i said this to him he was signing the plaque and i was like hey so what was it like spending the whole day with your son luke today because he was doing the photo op with mm -hmm. uh, mark all day and he started laughing and everybody in the room started dying laughing <laughs> and he was like it, it was good it was great it, it was hilarious so I just thanked him for everything. And then I was like, man, um, I'll see you next Friday at Tampa Bay Comic Con because I live out there in Tampa. And he's like, all right, cool. And then I walked away. But like the fact that he said, we, we've met a few times before, not, oh, we took a picture earlier today, a few times before, the chosen one knows me and it's unreal. <laughs> that's that's great, man. Star Wars Sith 66 is infamous. That's a great story. Because yeah. I mean, yeah. and, and you know, because of that interaction, You've cemented yourself even further in his memory. Yeah. All right, so are you meeting him again uh, at Tampa Bay? So I wasn't because, like, I, I'm i not a millionaire. But, like... But now you got to, right? <laughs> I, I, after that conversation, and, like, I kind of said it to him, <laughs> I'll see you in Tampa. It's like, I have to, so... Last minute, I did buy an autograph, so I do have an autograph <laughs> tomorrow at 1240. So... 
So here's the thing that's tricky though. I did order this plaque and I'm it might not be here in time. So worst case scenario, I might just have them sign the top of the Vader helmet that I got back there. But I, I'm praying that somehow this gets here early in the morning because if this plaque gets here and he sees this plaque and sees me, oh, he's going to remember me for the rest of his life. So <laughs> all the neurons are all going to fire. <laughs> so he's this, got a plan. Yeah. So and, and I love this movie, too. But do you guys remember Jumper? Yeah. Oh, I remember Jumper. Of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I, I I had a custom jumper plaque made because nobody brings Hayden jumper merch or yeah. anything like that. It's always Vader, Anakin, Star Wars. So I'm hoping that comes because that conversation will probably be pretty priceless to see his reaction to that. Yeah. Um. If if not, I mean, I'm sure he'll remember me. It's it's been six days. Yeah. And then worst case, either I'll get the Vader helmet signed or I have like the Revenge of the Sith. Anakin Saber, I'll bring one of those, but I will be seeing the chosen one again tomorrow. I just got out of the, the Hayden autograph. He recognized me right away because I just saw him. He was like, man, good seeing you again. And he's like, so where's home for you? And I'm like, here, I live like 15 minutes away from here. And he signed the helmet. He put the quote on there for free, which that's usually extra. And then I gave him um, like my celebration pin, my, my stickers, my card. And he asked me, he said, hey, uh, what's your name? And I'm like, Tony. He's like, nice to meet you. So like such a crazy experience. The fact that he asked me like for my name, he did the quote. And like, I just said, can you put Anakin is gone? Because I didn't want to be like greedy and ask for a full quote since I didn't pay for it. But he's like, do you want the full quote? I'm like, yeah, hell yeah. So this thing came out so beautiful i'm i'm so pumped right now that is fantastic what a great story yeah D now didn't you get mark's autograph as well yeah yeah i know right i'm i casually like uh, like you know blast past that so mark's auto was great it was <laughs> it was uh it was quick it wasn't like super long and like he had two handlers next to him and the, you know they were kind of i like, saw trying he to, had quite a yeah, quite a setup yeah there, and He's a little bit older and like a little bit more gingerly when he's doing his signature, but I got this Return of the Jedi plaque signed. Nice. Ooh. Now, did yeah. you get to talk to him at all there? Um, no, I just said, I like for like a little bit, I'm like, man, uh, thank you for so much for doing this convention. It's an honor to meet you. And he was like, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so it wasn't like, it wasn't like as much as like Hayden, just real but it quick. Was, it, yeah, just real quick, just because like, you know, he's, he's an older guy, he's trying to get through it quick. But uh, Hayden stole the show for me at Fan Expo, and I, I and I didn't think that'd be possible over Mark Hamill. Wow, what S a story! Stole it so much that you gotta go meet him again the uh, following week. That's weekend. how he gets you. He's just yeah. a good salesman. Yeah, that's it, what it yeah, is. It is. <laughs> There's that. Plus, he's it. Like, when is he gonna be 15 minutes from me? Literally, like 15 minutes from my apartment. It's like, yeah. yeah come on. Well, next time Hayden is somewhere within my vicinity, I'll probably get his autograph because I have a. Uh, uh, it's not on my shelf anymore, but I have a it's lightsaber. A oh, okay. Uh, that I'd like to get signed. Mm -hmm. Your yeah. childhood one that you had in the picture with you? Yes, which mm -hmm. I can, uh, it's kind of anticlimactic, but I can tell that story real quick, I guess. I mean, you oh, can just it's show awesome. it. Like, yeah. We, yeah. we, we so got we, to meet him. We had, uh, this was at that same Indiana Comic Con where we met uh, Rosario Dawson. So this was Seth and I's photo that we got, mm. um, where we were our characters from Beyond the Dune Sea, Seth Solo and Connor Rebo. Yeah, make that connection uh, with the yes. Rebo there. The thing that was really neat about this, a couple things. One, I'm taller than Darth Vader. I just want to point that out. I didn't know mm. that until I met him. That was wild <laughs> to me. I don't know if you've had a similar experience, Tony, but when we were in line, when you get kind of behind this curtain, when we got behind the curtain, um, they were there was they were really strict at this convention, like really strict. Very. And... Yeah. Uh, for good reason. For good, yeah. yeah especially when you get get into it. But there was some some drama, I yeah, guess. Some uh, tomfoolery happening. But anyway, uh, when we got behind this curtain, um, they were saying like, "Okay, no, you know, no touching, no doing this, like no handshakes, no hugs, yeah. no any of this." Blah 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 blah. And we're like, "Okay, so like we can't do custom poses. There's nothing. You just have to basically stand next to him, and that's going to be it." Um, and I I really wanted him to hold this lightsaber that I brought, yeah. which is on my hip. And that was the one I had when I was a kid uh, that mm. it's all beat up, you know, cause that's what I swung around, you know, and I got yeah. that at the time of Revenge of the Sith. 
Well, when we got in there, um, he shook my hand and he shook Seth's hand. He's like, hey, how's it going? How's it going, guys? And he just grabbed the both of us, like, and just yes. pulled, us in, pulled us in and was like, all right, you know, and yeah. took the photo. And I just thought that was so cool because I thought we were going to have to have, like, an awkward photo where we, like, just yeah. stood next to him. Yeah. But no, he, like, just pulled us both in mm -hmm. and yep. got a photo and told us thanks for being there. And I think Seth said something, too. What'd you say to him on your way out? I think I just said thanks for just, like appreciating, yeah, just appreciating yeah. him coming and everything. But uh, that was so that was a really neat interaction. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, I mean, doesn't hold a candle to your uh, to your Hayden it's story true. there, man. That's that's <laughs> such a go. great story. Um, I mean, how often do you get to meet both Mark Hamill and Hayden Christensen on the same day and have one of them recognize you? Well, I, before you know, know it, if you keep it up, eventually he's just going to be like. Let's just go hang out. <laughs> it's gonna be like, hey, I got a break in yeah, fifteen. Yeah, I got a break in fifteen. Let's, Let's go. just go. Yeah, imagine Come on out that. Back. Me and uh, Hayden at like uh, a local place having a beer tomorrow night when he's done with the, his long day of autos and photos. Exactly. That would go. just be, you, like, dude. Just unreal. shoot your shot. So just shoot your shot while you're there. While you're getting your auto, like as you're on your way out, you talk to his handler. Be like, hey. I want to buy he, this guy a beer. If he's got five <laughs> minutes, can I like? Can, I've got a channel. Can I interview him? Like just real quick. <laughs> Oh, man. I can say crazy. this. This is not Star Wars related, but this did happen to me that I was in a hotel bar and then Ooh. all the celebrities came in and then they closed the bar. Like I was in it with all of them. So I was in a bar with, granted, they aren't like, uh, it was Shepard from Firefly, Sylvester McCoy, so Radagast the Brown. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Xander from Buffy the Vampire Slayer Ooh. and the guys from Mystery Science Theater 3000. Oh. And it was like, there was only 20 people in that bar and most of them were celebrities. So that oh, was wow. like, so who knows? Maybe that could happen to you. Very and like, cool. I didn't yeah. say very, what? I just said very cool. Yeah. I was going to say, and I didn't really say much to them. Uh, the <laughs> yeah. guy, uh, um, uh, the gentleman who was in Firefly, like I've, I've never watched that show ever, but, uh, I, uh, him and I talked about the Spurs game cause that was what was going on <laughs> on the TV. Yeah. So gotcha. they were in the, uh, nice. they were in the playoffs. So, yeah. So what do you think is your favorite interaction, Tony? Is it that one, your favorite interaction it's, of all time? Oh, it, it, hands down, it's that, that. That Hayden looking at me and saying, we've met a few times before. And in his Hayden voice, like it's just Anakin talking to me. <laughs> it's un, it, I felt like I was in the world between worlds. Like, what? <laughs> oh, yes, it, sir. It's that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, oh my God. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. that. It's it, like nothing touches that. Like, it's, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. So do you do many, uh, like other than sort of the big boys, do you do any just like of your normal lines at uh, the celebrity rows where you just get to walk up and just say, hi, do you do any of those? Oh, so I did get other autographs while I was there. I was very financially irresponsible. <laughs> so I can show you guys real quick. Uh, sure, rapid three, fire a couple at us. Three more Star Wars and one, uh, Nintendo. So Ooh. The voice actor for Princess Zelda, Patricia Somerset, was there. So I Very brought cool. a custom plaque. She signed that. I like the hearts. Yeah. I like the heart containers. Yeah, that's just, fun. Just like when you start three yeah. hearts every game. Yep, mm -hmm. that was awesome. Then Cameron Monaghan, Cal Kestis, a.k.a. Oh. Jerome Velasca, custom plaque, Gotham Joker, and Cal. That's cool. I didn't know he was there. Yeah. yeah. At Chicago. Yeah. He was there. And then Junis was there, so I had a custom Chewy slash Kelnaka plaque made, uh -huh. and he signs with a little Wookie on it. I like that autograph. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. And quick story about him: the reason I wanted to talk to him was about Acolyte because I wanted to know. I asked him, "Did you do lightsaber training?" Because as Chewy, you just had a blaster, like there's no training. And he said that yes, he did lightsaber training. He did all his stunts because there were no stunt men that tall. So everything, and then he started to go, yeah, it was all me. Zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> he was super excited the fact that he got to do everything with the lightsaber as Kalnaka. That's so I cool. thought that was cool. Mm -hmm. The last one, Amanis Fondi. I met him at Megacon. He's just so down to earth. He just has such a vibe to him. I made this plaque and I because I wanted to get a certain reaction out of him, and I got it. So I made a job of the hut plaque. <laughs> and yeah. uh had him sign this and the minute he saw it he was like oh my god that's me that's me i'm job he was just oh it was like <laughs> a little kid it was just so funny so like that it. was a 
the last auto that I got. So mm -hmm. definitely great. did a lot in Chicago. It was a great time. That's yeah. awesome, man. Mm -hmm. So who's who's next on your list? Who, who are you like? Who's top of your list? Um, like if they were at the next con, you're going to go front, front, front of the line. So, well, Hayden tomorrow. Right. But the next con ICCC, there is probably a few that I'm going to get there. Warwick Davis, Greedo, Mark Thompson, Wedge and, and Timothy Zahn. I think I'm going to I want to try to knock all those guys out at ICCCC. But the next like big, big convention like Celebration Japan the 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 two that I'm going for so far, Doug Chang and Manny Jacinto, because they're okay. both confirmed mm -hmm. being there. Yeah, Very cool. So excited, excited to meet those guys. Mm -hmm. well, who's your Who's your dream then? Like, let's say, oh, Natalie surprise Portman. announcement at Tampa Bay Comic Con. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They're coming. It doesn't matter. They're coming. Yeah. Surprise. They're going to be there. Who Who is your person? That Natalie you, Portman. Natalie Portman. Really? Really? Ha had me. Well, well, like Star Wars wise, yeah, Natalie Portman. Um. Cause like I've pretty much got everybody else. Like who else is left that does cons? Like, or you mean like anybody? Cause I would say Harrison, but I feel like he would be grumpy in the picture. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that might be yeah. fun though. Yeah. Just it pointing at be you and being angry. Imagine getting insulted but, by Harrison Ford oh, on your way out the door. Yeah. That's kind of bucket list. Like <laughs> that's, that's a stupid shirt, kid. Like having a Han Solo shirt on. Yeah. Oh man. But probably like, I guess Harrison, if it could be anybody like Harrison or Samuel L. Jackson, too, man, because he's been in every movie ever for the last, what, like five decades, four, <laughs> four yeah. decades he's yeah. been around. But like Star Wars wise, I would love Natalie Portman to show up because like I would love a dual photo with Hayden and Natalie. Like it just that'd would be cool. Be just that'd be so cool. cool. That'd be, that'd be yeah. a good photo op to get. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 How about you, Seth? Do you have a dream one that you'd want to want to get? I like. I know as lame as this sounds, but I I skipped her the last time. Uh, I wouldn't mind meeting. Um, I don't know her, the actress's name, but the uh, the woman who did the mocap for Iden Versio. Okay. Oh, yeah, from nice. Battlefront Two, just because like I played so much of that game, like, yeah, so much of that game, and so it's just kind of one of those core memories with Star Wars. Yeah. So, and she was at the forefront of it, gotcha. and so. Great Luke Skywalker moment in that game. There's so, a fantastic yeah. Luke Skywalker yes, exactly. moment. In that game. So yeah. So probably her. I don't know mm -hmm. that uh uh hey, I've got one last one. I just thought of something. Oh. Are oh. you guys okay with that? Of course. I, okay. I met Donald Faison. Do you is guys that? know who that is? Uh -uh. He plays uh he plays Turk in Scrubs. He also does a voice oh. for resistance. Okay. But oh. I saw that he was going to be here. He does Gary the Stormtrooper from Robot Chicken. Okay. And so I printed out a picture of it. And my buddy and I went and we both like we got because we went up to his table and we both like had our pictures to our chest. And we go, listen, we know you're here for Star Wars Resistance. But before Star Wars Resistance, you were the voice of something that was very important to us. And we flip him over and we put him down. And he goes, oh, no way. And, oh. and he was like, uh, he goes, uh, what do you want me to put? I'm like, whatever you want to put on it, man. And uh, he yeah. goes, I don't think I can say what I say in this scene. Uh, he asks his handler. He's like, can I write it? And she was like, no. And so, Aww. yeah, then we had to just do other lines from like the scenes that we had picked. Yeah. So, Cause he's like, I remember what I said here. And so, yeah. <laughs> so that was really fun too. That's yeah. great. Anyway, I'm done. Sorry. I just realized that I'm like, dang, cause that's not in this book. I have that framed on, uh, that's a great story. on a shelf. Yeah. That's a great yeah. story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you had to give a rough estimate, Tony, how many, how many between autographs and photo ops, how many have you done? Oh my God. Too, too much. Uh, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. I think 12 photo ops and then autographs, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe 11 autos, six. Yeah. 11, like 11 autos. Okay. So yeah, kind of a bunch, but yeah, yeah that's pretty hey. good though. That's cool. Yeah. Do you have a cool way of displaying all those like those metal things? The I I'm actually gonna work on that because I want to get like, like a shadow box and have them just all in there because that's kind of why I got all of them signed in black because a lot of people get like different colors. Yeah. But I have all of them in black in case if I ever display it together so it just looks consistent and yeah. clean. I didn't know if you were going to do like a big plaque or something like that. And yeah, get I, yeah. I kind of want to do that. Just have them all together and mm -hmm. just that might look really cool. So I'm, I'm trying to figure that out right now. Okay. 
Well, Tony, thank you so much for sharing these incredible stories with us, man. I mean, yes. In such a short amount of time, you've been able to meet so many incredible Star Wars heroes. Mm-hmm. And I mean, the hero of heroes this past weekend, my goodness. Yeah. And what an awesome story you got out of that. Because I mean, it's one thing to be able to go have that experience. Because I mean, you a lot of people got to have that experience yeah. last weekend, but you got to have an extra special experience because True. he recognized the you. The chosen one knew The chosen you. one knew who you were. Mm-hmm. And man, how many people oh. could say that, huh? Yeah. That's really yeah. cool. So um, as in our closing here, uh, what would you say to people who have interest in maybe doing photo ops or autographs who are maybe have some reservations? Um, what would you tell them to kind of give them that final push? If it's someone that means something to you that was there in your childhood or through a tough time or any kind of like feelings you have towards them, do it because life is short and you don't know what could happen tomorrow. So I, it's it's worth it. You don't have to meet everybody, but just the ones that really, really stick out with memories from like watching it with family or whatever it may be. Do it, do it, do it because life is too short. Amen to that. Well said. I'm glad that you you turned me to the light side. Well, I'm half excited about that. My wallet, not so much. But uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hey, thank you so much for being here. Yes, thank you, Tony. Yeah. Uh, for, on Thanks our first, for having me mm-hmm. on our first episode here from a certain point of view. Thanks for all the wonderful stories. I can't wait to connect with you again later. I'm sure you'll have many more stories because you do these all the time. You're always yep. just he's just chilling in Moss Eisley Cantina every weekend yes. with all the. Uh, with all the rapscallions Mm -hmm. out there in that galaxy far, far away. So thank you, Tony, so much. You can find him where at? Uh, YouTube and Instagram at Star Wars Sith 66. I'll be putting all the links down in the description down below. Check out Star Wars Sith 66. Again, thanks so much for being here, Tony. Thank you. And we'll see you guys next time in that galaxy far, far away from a certain point of view. (laughs) 